three secrets to HVAC efficiencies. Are you looking around, you're trying to figure out what the best heating and air system to buy out there, and you're concerned about how efficient it is one way, shape, or form, I wanted to share a few secrets that a lot of homeowners may not know as they're going through this process. So let's dive into it. The first one is no one can actually tell you how much money you're going to save by going with one system over another. And the reason is a lot of folks can get it close. If it's an electric system, they can talk about the kilowatts and how much you save and things like that. But there's just too many variables to be able to say 100% if you go with 18 SEER or now SEER 2 versus a 16, how much money you're actually going to save. Some of those variables might be the ductwork. How well is it installed or sealed or insulated? Is it sized correctly? Another variable might be how much you actually use your system. So in other words, if it's say your second home or your guest home versus your primary home that you're at every night, that system's not gonna get as much mileage on it, right? So it's not being ran as much to start with. Another variable might be how much are utility costs? If things go up and down, that'll affect how much you actually end up having to spend. So just realize no one can actually give a definitive dollar amount as you're trying to figure this all out. If you go with a higher efficiency furnace or a higher efficiency air conditioning or heat pump system, there's just no way to attach an actual dollar amount to that number or rating. Number two, SEER or SEER2 now is not accurate if it's not an HRI approved match. So in other words, if you have a system that you've bought and it says that it's 18 SEER, for example, you've got a 17 or 18 SEER, SEER 2, two-stage outdoor unit, and you braze it in and it's attached to an air handler on the other end or a furnace with coil, and you're thinking, I've now gone up in SEER, I'm going to get a way more efficient system, just realize that it's not accurate if you go with one indoor unit versus another. So in some cases, depending on whether you go with, say, a single stage or a ECM motor type air handler or furnace versus a variable speed can play a role in what the actual ratings are. Sometimes adding a whole nother SEER or SEER 2 to it. And so my tip with that would be if you're getting a system installed and you're about to pull the trigger, you're about to have a system installed, ask that contractor for the AHRI certificate so that way they can show you exactly what it's going to be. They may say, hey, this system is supposed to be 18 SEER or SEER 2. I keep saying or SEER 2 because it you know depends these days. If they match it with a lower end air handler, then you're only going to get, say, 17 or 17 and a half. But if they match it with a higher end unit, you can get 18 and a half out of that same system. So just keep that in mind as you're purchasing that system. Make sure you get that certificate and know exactly what you're buying and what the actual ratings are. And then finally, my last tip is SEER 2 is not an accurate 100% to the T measurement. They switched to SEER 2 recently. And during the making of this video, SEER 2 equipment is coming out. We used to use SEER for the longest time. And because of the way the systems are tested and they attach these ratings to them, they can't be dead on 100%. SEER 2 is a little more accurate because it takes into effect more real world applications, ductwork that's not perfect and things like that versus the way SEER was. But if you're comparing an inverter system to say a single stage or multi-stage system, your inverter system at times, it can ramp up and down. It's got times where it's just barely running versus these other stage systems, they're either off or they're on. They might be in first stage or second stage, they're still either off or on and there's no in between there. And the reason that's important is it's hard to compare the two when you have inverter systems that on mild days are just barely gonna be running, they're gonna hardly be using any electricity. And because of that, SEER 2, even now, is still not the best active representation of how much energy you're gonna save versus another. The example I use all the time is Daikin makes the Daikin Fit and it's 17 SEER, but it's an inverter system. It's a true communicating inverter system. And folks will be comparing it with some of these other systems that have now come out with inverter systems that they're not true communicating technology. I know Bosch has a heat pump like that, the Grief Flex, and even Allied Links. All of those systems are not true communicating inverter systems. 
So because of that, the Fit can even have a lower rating, but be a more efficient system because of those times that it's just barely running on a mild day in comparison. But if you're comparing it to a multi-stage compressor, it's still not true inverter communicating system. And when you're comparing the two, you might even have a system that is a say a two stage 18 sear or sear two versus that 16.2 or 17 sear sear two fit that fit's still going to in the end probably save you more energy and be a more efficient system in the end so i am going to go ahead and go out on a limb i said it years ago and i had people commenting on my videos and saying you don't know what you're talking about you're wrong about that a prediction just a few years ago where i said sear is going to become a thing of the past they're going to come out with a new way of comparing these systems a new way of rating them and I have to say, I have to give me a little pat on the back. I was right that SEER 2 came along and it did replace SEER. But I'm going to go again, I'm going to go out on a limb and predict and tell you that there will come a day in the future that SEER 2 is no longer going to be the way that we compare systems or compare ratings because of that fact that it doesn't take into account some systems, even though that it might be only 17 SEER, but it's still a more efficient system because of that communicating inverter technology. The whole point is, if you want a high-end system, don't look so much at SEER or SEER 2. Look more at the technology and realize that an inverter VRF or VRV type system that's true communicating is going to win all day long just because of how it can operate on those milder days. So anyway, that's my three. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips or suggestions, please comment them below. I'd love to hear them. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.